Hello and welcome. This is my specialized rock opera, which I named Gojira because it's big and green and I am a huge Godzilla fan, pun intended. And I have a story to tell you about this bike. But before I can tell you that story, I have to tell you a story about this bike. This is my Nishiki Colorado Comp 27.5 Plus. That's a long name for a bike. It came originally from Dick's Sporting Goods, but I bought it used last year from a young fella. It was his only means of transportation, and kudos to him for doing what he needed to do. Can't fault that. But the two child carriers that he put on it tore the living daylights out of the paint. Well, it was a fun bike. I didn't care about the paint job so much, and I'd, I have been having all kinds of fun with this bike. It's very fast, deceptively so, and I like the unusual uh, frame geometry and whatnot with that uh, asymmetrical chainstay. And the 27.5 plus tires, it's a nice compromise between regular mountain bike tires and fat bike tires. But I haven't ridden it. Oh, I don't know, for quite a while now. The reason being, it's got a 33 inch step over height because it's a large size frame. I usually ride mediums. And I have a 32 inch inseam. I think you can see where this story is headed. I had to get off that bike a couple of times really quickly, you know, running into issues or about to crash and needed to jump out and whatnot and the cure was almost as bad as the disease if you catch my drift so since i don't want to do any lasting damage to my undercarriage i stopped riding the bike which is too bad because it really is a good good bike i do like it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pirate the SRAM NX drivetrain from it. It's set up with a 1x11 with an 11 to 42 tooth chain ring. And I figure, well, you know, I'm running a uh, 11 to 40 on the rock hopper right now, but those extra two teeth on the top gear give me just a little bit more of an advantage climbing. I'll take it. And to be honest, it gives me something to do because <laughs> as I've said so many times I love to tinker with machines especially bicycles this is basically a pretty straightforward process of pulling the cassettes off both wheel sets and swapping them instead of swapping the entire wheels because the rock up is a 29 and the frame will not take a boosted axle just can't do that So, when it was all said and done, it went together quite easily. Although I will say, <laughs> SRAM has the most ridiculously complicated, convoluted, twisty turny cable routing for the rear derailleur. It's not as straightforward as a, a Shimano. Be that as it may, it does work. And 
Well, I say it works. I got first through, no, I'm saying that wrong. I, can, I've, I cannot get it to go into first or second. And it did that just fine when it was on the Nishiki. So, you know, I've got to do some fine tuning on it. And, uh, well, you know, it's just time more than anything else. But it was a fun way to while away an afternoon and get a little bit of a sunburn. Yay, Nordic heritage. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, you know, I, I love this hardtail. I might be a bit of a Luddite, but I really like the hardtail. And uh, I ride that probably twice as much as my other mountain bikes combined. So there you go. What can I tell you? I'm an old school dude. If you enjoyed this video, there's a link lower left for the Rock Hopper uh, playlist, actually. And there's a link to another video lower right that I think you'll enjoy. And uh, as always, seriously, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that when you do. Goodbye and have a great day.